looking at a tree in the forest it's it's really quite impossible to say how the um the grain of the wood will look once it's been once it's been felled and and taken to the um once it's been felled sliced up and then you know planed and sanded and so on and um and for me that's the um that's kind of what makes carpentry so so enjoyable is how um how the wood the f the figure of the wood grain reveals itself um when it's being when it's being worked and um it's it's you know there's this element of discovery um that is that is a part of woodworking because of that so in that respect it's um i think the case could be made that carpentry is almost like geology in in that way you know the the tree uh, tr trees grow much very much in the way that um the earth is formed you know that year for year um they grow bigger and bigger um you know layer for layer and and when when you're working with wood then you know you're taking that away and it and and the wood re reveals itself and the way that it grew much in the way that um you know a, um, a highway cut through a mountain um, reveals the the layers of um of the earth how the earth has been formed um and I, and this is particularly true obviously for for you know certain woods more than others with um you know open open grain woods like oak or ash um there's just mu much more going on with those woods it, it's more visible above all than than for example a, a, a close grain wood like beech and um yeah so so i so i, I certainly enjoy working with oak or ash much more um, for that reason, um, the, the the this this bowl was was made on the CNC router um, in a, in a very simple way. Like I didn't I didn't have to have a three D model of the bowl. Um, I'll try to describe this as simply as I can. Um, in order f to to tell the router how to cut the bowl. I created a, an array of of lines which are spun around the middle, the the center point of the bowl, and then I I programmed the the CNC router to to cut along the lines in in a fluting path, path um, and for for it to slope from from the beginning all the way down to the middle and then right back up to the end of the line each time in a in a curved path and that that determined the shape of the bowl so so really without any 3d um without any 3d uh form it's possible to router a bowl like this i i could do like a blow by blow um screen screen recording just to show um others how how this is done if if people are interested let me know I'd, I'd be glad to share that um although i have to say i, f I find um I, I find screen recordings of uh c can be quite tedious to watch i think it's just more interesting to see um see wood being um cut anyway that, that that that's how i made the bowl and it was fun i i um at the end, like the the, um, I st I I oiled the bowl with this um, with this colored oil from from Rubia Monocoat. It's it's not bad. I I'm I'm not super happy with the color. Like I think uh, I I would have preferred preferred a more natural color, and that's that's what I'll do next.